I love custom quest home environments, everything from Minecraft to Resident Evil. Well, now with this new app on App Lab, you can check out the environments from inside of your headset, and you don't even need to jump through any hoops or have a PC to check them out. You will need to sideload a separate APK to install them, and I'll go through how to do that at the end of the video, but it's still pretty awesome just to explore these environments without even needing to install them. This application is called Moon VR Home. I'll put a link down in the description. All you gotta do is go and click on the Get button because it is free, then install it on your headset, and it's time to jump in and get started. All right, here we are in the garage from Rick and Morty. I don't actually watch this show, but it's a good illustration as to the types of home environments that you can actually get for your Quest 2 or for your Quest Pro for that matter. So once you've downloaded Moon VR Home, it's time to jump into it. And this is what you'll be greeted with. Now, before we really jump into this, let me just say a lot of these environments, at least on the first page, are not 3D environments. They're just giant 360 pictures. So see, if you click on one, it looks awesome, you know, but it's 2D. <laughs> it's just a 360 photo. But if you go to the 3D section, this is where the magic happens. So you can click on an environment you want to check out and hit click to preview. It'll load up and then you can click the little arrow to drop it down and you can look around. You can move around inside of the environment as well. It's got free locomotion. It does have teleportation as well. You can turn on in the settings if you want, but I love that you can actually freely move around. You can actually move outside of the boundary too because of the, the way that the uh, locomotion works and you can look around. Now the sounds that you're hearing aren't necessarily going to be the sounds that you're going to get if you activate the environment for your actual home. But it does give the opportunity to actually explore and preview them, which I love. So you can do like the Avengers home, you could do Dragon Ball. This is really awesome as well, make a really cool home environment. But some of the bigger ones are really cool. Like say you want to, don't, whatever you do, don't click on that one. Unless you want to get motion sick. <laughs> Let me show you. I'm honestly not sure why you would want this as a home environment. Like... It makes me physically ill trying to look around in this. Let me get out of this. <laughs> so you got the Steam Void, which is actually kind of cool. I mean, if you've used Steam VR on P... Whoa! Ho, 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 okay. Hi! I didn't realize there was actually stuff moving in here. Hi there. There's a giant freaking whale over there. What I was gonna say, though, is some of the coolest ones are the bigger ones, like... The Hobbit. You move around inside of here. This is a really cool... Look, it's the Ark in Stone. One thing that you'll notice as you move around in these environments is that your level doesn't go up if you go upstairs, unfortunately. But you can still move around and look around, which is pretty awesome. I love The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, so this would be like an environment that I would want to see. And this environment's freaking huge. Look, you can just keep walking all the way down there. Look at this one. This one is really cool. This is Sonic. Hey there, Sonic. Hi there. This is Sonic. This is the Green Hills. This is cool. This is awesome. I love this little platform here. It's all in 3D, so you can really see it, the whole thing. It's kind of like a frozen picture, though. This one doesn't seem to have any moving parts. Let's find another one with moving pieces. There's ten total pages with, what, one, two, three, four, eight on each page. This one is really cool, too. This is the throne room. Minimize that. You can see the little mouse bot down there. And you can go over here. These TIE fighters that fly out the windows. You've got the guard over there, and then you've got Palpatine up there. Electrocuting himself, it looks like, for some reason. I'm not 100% sure why he's doing that. <laughs> but he is. I don't see Vader anywhere. This is a 3D home environment that you can actually explore a little bit. It's got some creepy stuff going on. Watch, if you look out the, the peephole, there's somebody there. Or I can go right through it. <laughs> it looks a little weird when you go through it, but look. You can actually kind of explore the rooms a little bit. I've actually done this as a like a, an application that they had. But it's cool to be able to look around without having to install any applications. Star Trek The Next Generation, I really like this one too. This is awesome because you can kind of sit in the captain's chair and it feels like you're really there. Oh look, they got the Oculus. That's the symbol for the Oculus home environment Discord. Lots of different Minecraft ones. There's quite a few different Minecraft ones. There's some freaking creepy ones. Doom Hell. Oh, the PT Hallway. <laughs> oh, Rancor. Look at that. You can go to the Krusty Krab too. Hey there, SpongeBob. Squidward. Mr. Krabs. Oh, Patrick is here. Whoa, you can actually go out here a little ways. That's pretty cool. I mean, he's just in a T-pose. Well, he's not. He's kind of sitting in a T-pose. What else we got here? Friends, Thanksgiving. That's a really cool one. Okay, hold on just a second. This is some really cool stuff, too, like Resident Evil 4 Village. So you can actually come in here if you want Resident Evil 4. Then you can come in here and see this dude. I mean, this is kind of... What is kind of cool about this is having been in it in VR because of the Resident Evil 4 VR game. It looks familiar, but if you want it as like a home environment, it's pretty cool. Hey there. They've got Pokemon, different Pokemon ones. There's another Dragon Ball one, Naruto. They've got Loki. 
I love that one, actually. Hold on. Let's go to that one. The Time Variance one. That one's really cool, too. If you're a big fan of Loki, you can use this one. I mean, it's just... Whoa, hey. If you stand here long enough, Loki will pop up. There he is. <laughs> he pops up, too. So you can kind of stand here and use this as a home environment. And this is really what it's designed for. It's just a home environment. It's something spectacular. But it's cool to be able to customize your own home environment. Bob's Burger, Rick and Morty's, Simpsons. That one's a popular one. That one's been used a long time. I actually really like this one. The Christmas Toy Room. There's some stylized weird ones that aren't necessarily specific to, like, games and stuff. Or if you love Beat Saber, you can load in the Beat Saber one. There's some pretty cool 360 environments that are, like, 3D 360, like this one. This is like a 3D scan of an abandoned place, which is pretty cool. We're going to add some to a list, okay? So we're going to take the ones that we like. Let's grab... We'll grab the Hobbit, because I love the Hobbit. And you can put as many of these on this list as you want. I like Minecraft, but we'll... Uh, We'll leave that alone for a minute. Ooh, Cyberpunk, that sounds cool. Let's add that to the list. I haven't even looked at that yet. We'll do, oh, Breath of the Wild. You gotta add that, okay. So once you have some home environments that you wanna download, you're gonna hit Download All to customize my home. It'll open up the application that I'm gonna show you how to install at the end of this video. Load all of them into it, and you're just gonna hit Download All. It'll go ahead and download all of those. You're just gonna hit Install as they pop up. This one will download now. Once they've all got green check marks, you can actually go ahead and get back into this software and exit out of it. And you go to your settings by hitting the little gear icon or by hitting the quick menu bar and then going to settings up here. You'll be able to find the personalization tab where it says virtual environments. You can scroll down and there are your environments right there. So you'll have the, I have a Rick and Morty one that's active. You can go to the Breath of the Wild one. You can click on that. And so you can actually teleport inside. It's not as far as like if you were walking, but you can hear it. There's actually music for it. You got this one, cyberpunk. You can activate that one. Like a cyberpunk type of environment, which, whoa, 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 okay. Ooh, that's really cool. I like that one. That's a cool environment. Then you could also do the Hobbit, which we've already seen, but it'll just show you activating it. It might show weird images. Let's just get off of the edge of this for a second. <laughs> I don't want to fall down there, even though you can't actually fall. And that's how you add in the uh, custom home environments, and that's how you switch them. Now let's jump over, and I'll walk you through how to get everything set up for side loading and all that jazz for you to actually be able to do this. Now you are going to need a PC of some kind, laptop, desktop. It doesn't have to be new. It doesn't even have to be powerful, but you are going to need a PC to hook your Quest to. The first thing you're going to need to do is enable developer mode. To do that, go to the link in the description to the Oculus Developer website and sign up for a developer account. All you have to do is make sure you're logged into your Quest account on the page and create a new organization by filling in the organization name, ticking the box that you understand and creating the organization. You can call it whatever you want. The point is to make sure you create a new organization. Once that's done, all you have to do is go into the MetaQuest app on your phone, go into the settings menu, click on the devices button, and then make sure that your Quest is nearby and it says connected in the application. Scroll down to the headset settings, hit developer mode, and then make sure that the switch is flipped over to on. That's pretty much it for getting developer mode working. The next step is to download SideQuest onto whatever PC you're using. Head to the link in the description and download the desktop version of SideQuest and then make sure that it's installed. Then you're going to connect your Quest to your PC using a USB-C cable. Make sure you put your headset on and authorize and allow inside of the headset to allow your PC to access the files on your Quest. Once your headset is connected to your PC, open up the SideQuest software and then head to the the link in the description to download the Moon Home Installer. Download that APK and then go back to SideQuest. Click the button in the top right hand corner with a down arrow that'll allow you to install an APK to your Quest 2. Navigate through your folders to find the APK that you just downloaded and then double click it. This will then install that APK onto your Quest and when you see the confirmation message that it's been installed, you know you're all set. And that's it, you're now ready to jump into the headset and hop in and choose the environments you want to download. There you go, that is Moon VR Home along with the instructions on how to sideload that separate APK so you can install those home environments. What do you think? I love being able to just jump in and explore cool places in a 360 3D environment, even if I wasn't going to install them as custom homes. The fact though that I can actually look at them, preview them, and then install them without having to touch my PC is pretty darn awesome as well. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching, stay safe, and Happy questing.